An Immigrant's Tale looks at the experiences of Irish in America during the famine times. It also explores the influence of Irish music and dance in America. Director Martin Murray from Carrick on Shore in County Tipperary is internationally respected on the trad scene as a sound engineer, producer and performer. His career includes playing Mick Jagger's 50th birthday party with the Chieftains, with whom he travelled the world. It's a show of music, song and dance and storytelling based on uh, the whole story of emigration from the, from the famine from the mid-1800s basically up to today, how the music has progressed up to modern times. But uh, it takes in the famine, immigration of the, the Flanagan brothers here from Waterford. They have a big input into it. Uh, they were huge on the vaudeville scene, the dance hall scene in the 1920s and 30s. And they made uh, oh, hundreds and hundreds of recordings. They recorded actually as many of the old 78 records in their day as the Beatles did singles in their day. And they were from Summer Hill here in Waterford. It has a Waterford connection that's way, but it deals with the Irish American immigration from the time of the family. He says the idea for the show came from requests from members of the public. So I decided to put something together that uh, wasn't stage Irishy because you get a lot of that in fairness. You're actually getting a lot of that coming into this country. So uh, the songs and tunes that you'll hear in the show are not necessarily uh, stuff that you'll have heard before, but very relevant stuff, and uh, some of it penned by uh, Tim O'Brien from Nashville, who's of Irish descent. Some lovely uh, songs of emigration from his pen, and uh, other stuff, again, written by Eric Bogle that's not that well known, and music from the Flanagan Brothers, that period of time, that type of uh, Dixieland swing, kind of style to it with banjos that they did back then so it wouldn't be stuff that you'd normally hear every day but it, um, we haven't had any complaints about the show far, so far anyway everybody seems to enjoy it and, uh, they said the variety is there the songs, good singers, we have three singers in the show and uh, we have four dancers they are all between 16 and 18 years of age fit and well able to crack the boards and we also have a guest in the show who's from, uh, from Waterford, he's the world champion and won the World Championships this year, Richard Murray. Martin Murray says there are a number of stories to be told throughout this show. tell the story of uh, all the music and songs that we do. We tell the story of them, where they came from and what the, what the relevance is. Um, they actually deal with the American Plains Wars, which is not something that you'd hear about too often. Um, basically in the mid-1800s, when, uh, with the emigration from here, when men arrived at the US, uh, the only work they could get was with the US cavalry, which meant fighting the Native American Indians. So we dwell on that a bit. And there's also the American Civil War comes into it. And uh, it's stuff that we that normally wouldn't be touched on in other scopes of immigration, you know. So we decided to make it a bit different. It took me three great lifts to negotiate those steps. Sure, the sergeant, he was sleeping on the job. At my haste, he was surprised as he rubbed his bloodshot eyes and he licked the ring of porter from his gob. I explained about the ass, like a dodo on the grass, and told him rigor mortis had set in. With a big profanity, he said, why the hell tell me? I says, I'm just informing next of kin. I would have had a lot of friends from Waterford, obviously I lived here for a long time, and uh, my friends who were involved in the traditional music, and locals alike, would probably get the impression that the show would be geared just for tourists because as I said earlier you get a lot of stage Irish shows for tourists there's loads of them in the country so we automatically get that impression but the 
when they have come, some of them, a lot of them have come since and realised that it's not like that. It's a good traditional show and it's, uh, it's very authentic. And a lot of information given out and as I said the variety and entertainment is very good in it. So even people who are not necessarily traditional Irish music followers can enjoy the show and do. You know, it's a very, overall here at Dooley's, uh, it's very comfortable. The, the meal and the show is costed out at 27.50. Now for a full show, two hour show with a 15 minute break and a three course meal, that's a very good value. And it's the same in uh, Langton's Hotel on a Tuesday night in, uh, in Kilkenny. But that's, that's a very good value. And people do say that, just, that it is very good value. There's, there's, a big, there's a website up there at the moment called Rip Off Ireland. And the Americans are reading about this now. But we're certainly not part of that. You know, we do get complimented for them. That's we are giving very good value for money. Martin Murray says the show has been a huge success since it started. And he intends to bring it back to Waterford next year. Next year we're going to be back and uh, I will definitely have a Nimigan's Tale Part 2 for, for next year. Um, if we want to keep the local, yes, the question away about the local, locals and tourists, the ratio, well, we definitely would have more tourists coming to hear the show, obviously. But uh, the locals here in Waterford were getting more and more. This year we had a lot more locals than last year. And uh, Kilkenny, it was, we always had a good few locals in Kilkenny it was good local support but to keep the local interest yes we definitely would have a, a version 2 next year and though you look so long.